Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining me in this video. My name is Travis Patel. Today we're going to be talking about Facebook ad placement. There's lots of options you have as far as where you want your advertisement to show up for your audience, where they where they're going to see it on the platform. And each of these spots react differently. Some are a little bit better to get interaction, some are better for branding. Some will work better for you as far as converting to buyers, and these are all things you really want to test. So in this video, I just want to kind of talk about those placement options you have with Facebook ads and kind of some you know pointers, pros and cons to each of them. Now, first off, we have the desktop news feed. Um, as you can see here, I'm just in the basic ad dashboard. I click create a new ad, and on the ad level this is when you can do the creative, so you can choose the placement in the ad creation process. So we have first off, like I said, the desktop news feed. And this is just your standard, I'm on a desktop computer, on the middle news feed on the wall of anyone, this is the type of ad that you see. And you can see a little display here on the right giving us a little look at what this would look like. Um, this is just using a standard 1200 by 1200 pixel graphic each of these and depending on that ad style you want you might want to have different size graphics where as I'll talk about in a second the right hand sidebar will be a little different size than let's say the desktop here where I want that large picture that's really gonna pop out but this square doesn't work when you're doing the right hand sidebar ads and things like that so with desktop this is you know uh, very popular place to start with your ad, something great to test just because it is the first, you know, that main part of the audience's view and <clears throat> anything image, anything really directly in the front of their face is always a good place to be. Now, a lot of people are using Facebook and buying online these days through mobile devices though and that's why mobile newsfeed placement is so important. If you're on desktop placement but you're not on mobile, this means that only people on their desktop computers or their laptops or whatnot are going to be able to see these ads. That's the only people you're going to be targeting. Now on the mobile news feed, this is those that are looking at Facebook and looking at your website through their mobile phone. So that opens up a whole other avenue and like I said today, a lot of people, a majority of people are really using their phones for web usage and buying products and all that type of stuff, e-commerce. So this is the look of what we've got, same ad, same exact picture, um, wording and everything. You can see the words are a little bit more crunched up in this case, so something you might want to take into account. Um, the graphic you want to make sure pops out a little bit more, but it's just kind of that smaller version of the desktop. Um, now we have, let's go to the desktop right column. Now with the mobile phone, there is no right column. It's only the news feed, so that's why we have just the mobile news feed. On the desktop, we have the news feed and the right-hand sidebar. So this smaller ad, there you know, it's usually three, four pop up on the right hand sidebar. This is another good placement to test out. Works very well with retargeting when someone's already seen your product or come in on the news feed of the mobile or desktop ads. A right hand column ad can sometimes bring them back in. Um, you know, different placements there. You can see the sizing is different, like I talked about earlier. Um, you can do the same type of sizing where this is an ideal image size for um, this rectangle is 1200 by 628 pixels and it'll give it that rectangle look and those will always also show up in that rectangle look with your mobile and desktop feeds. So it really just depends on the image style you want and, and um, the objective of what you have going on. But those are the three main Facebook placements that are available. There's also a few others that are out there when you get in the power editor. And then we also have our Instagram placement, which this is now, you know, you run Facebook or Instagram ads directly through the Facebook system. So we can now choose to go take the same ad and place it on Instagram where it has a whole nother audience, a whole nother kind of door opens up. So those are our placement options when it comes to Facebook advertising. These days, you know, like I said, mostly mobile is our best converter, but desktop we use quite often and right hand we use quite often for retargeting and really doing branding messages and, and getting our face out there and an Instagram placement we're really just starting to ramp that up where it's just kind of opened up newly and we're figuring out all the 
different things that work on that pl platform compared to Facebook. Now, this is just the basic ad dashboard setup. You're able to choose the placements in the ad creative level. Um, we can, if we just wanted to do a desktop ad, I would remove all these others. So that ad right there would only launch to the desktop newsfeed. If I want to do a newsfeed in a mobile, we just turn them both on. And it's often good to split test these apart. Um, some people like to put mobile and desktop together in their initial ads. I do that often when we're trying to do very broad audiences. If I'm really trying to cut costs just because of the statistics of the past, I'll start with mobile only just so that we are kind of, you know, most of the time we make most of our sales from mobile so that kind of cut costs on the initial especially when you're doing tests and things like that now if you're in the power editor creating ads you have the campaign the ad set and then the ad level um, you can see the versions what they look like on the ad level of the power editor but you actually have to go to the ad set level to be able to edit the uh, the actual placement themselves so we're gonna check this one if you scroll to the bottom you'll see our placement options where there's our mobile newsfeed we're only doing that Instagram desktop newsfeed desktop right column and then audience network is another one that we haven't really dove into too much um, but it's putting your ad out there on newsfeed of the the audience network they have out there so guys thank you so much for joining me my name is Travis Patel hope you enjoyed this one I will talk to you soon